Now at 11, pushed and slapped. I've got a lot of pain here. This is where he punched me. Tonight, the Fort Lauderdale mayor sounds off about an officer under fire. I was very disturbed by the video. And right now, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department is conducting their own internal investigation. The officer could even face criminal charges. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from outside the police department. Carrie. Erica Rick, tonight that slap has done more than take a veteran Fort Lauderdale police officer off the force. It has once again put the city of Fort Lauderdale's treatment of the homeless in the spotlight. With the flick of a wrist, a Fort Lauderdale police officer not only slapped a homeless man, he reignited the issue of how Fort Lauderdale handles the homeless living in its city. It's unacceptable. Mayor Jack Seiler said the officer's conduct was oh. out of line. I was very disturbed by the video. I was very frustrated by the timing of it because we have been dealing with these issues and I thought we'd kind of put all this behind us. Seiler has been at the forefront of the city's push to create laws that deal with how the homeless are fed in the city. That led to activists being cited and cuffed for serving meals to the homeless. The issue is currently in the courts. But the confrontation between nine-year officer Victor Ramirez and the homeless man Bruce LeClaire at the city's bus terminal last weekend brought the homeless issue front and center again. The officer wrote that LeClaire was sleeping on a bus bench, breaking a terminal rule. LeClaire said he had to relieve himself. I had to go to the bathroom, and he wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. Then the confrontation. Relax. I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. I'm right now what's going to happen. I'm scolding you all right now. We're not going to go pee. We're not supposed to be here, okay? So get up. I'll push you to the ground, and I'll pick you up. Then the slap. Ramirez was suspended with pay. Seiler said this video is not representative of the thousands of interactions the city's officers have with the homeless year after year. The majority of our officers handle these interactions in a professional way, in a very competent way. LeClaire complimented other Fort Lauderdale officers for how they treat the homeless, which made this all the more upsetting to him. This gentleman was clearly out of line. LeClaire was booked for trespassing and pled no contest. Homeless advocates say they see the slapping incident as a natural progression from the city's laws affecting the homeless to the way the police enforce those laws. We're told the city of Fort Lauderdale will turn the case over to the Broward State Attorney's Office for possible criminal charges against the officer. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank